welcome back to a Simply Simple Scent because today I will be sharing a Scentsy video with you guys. Um, the first one I'm going to be sharing is what I have been warming in the past two months. <laughs> two months, okay. So I started warming fall, uh, fall scents I think towards the end of August. We are now towards almost the end of October. And I'm just done with fall scents right now. But I wanted to show you guys some of my empties um, as far as my waxes. And then um, also, before I go to my wax, I am done with uh, my Luna um, bundle, bun uh, bundle of Love. I think it's called Bundle of Love um, for my laundry line. I still have some of the liquid, but I always run out of the, um, the washer with first before I do the liquid. Uh, we really go through a lot of the washer with because it just makes the um, the clothes really smell good. Luna was a bit of a disappointment for me because I do like the Luna scent in a car bar, I mean um, a wax form. But um, when it came to the laundry line, I've been, should I say burned twice? The first one was Honeymoon Hideaway and then Luna. I'm just gonna stick to ocean. I love ocean. Hubby loves ocean. So I believe I have um, I have an unboxing to do with you guys, and I think my ocean one is in there to replace this one. This one I just could not smell it at all. Um, I it's hubby's like no. <laughs> He's like we used it of course because we had it, but we couldn't smell it at all um, into the the clothes after it's been washed and with the ocean we can smell it like a week after we actually put the clothes into the the drawer take it out and put it on and you're like whoo it smells so good but not the luna okay so i'm gonna go back to my ocean now like i said i have been melting um nothing but fall scents and i'm just so over it right now so um the fall scents that i really really like is my apple cinnamon stick this is my go-to fall i think this is like the first one i also melted back in um late august i still like it it smells good but it, it's just I'm, I'm i'm done with the with the cinnamons i think um i went through two of these um apple and cinnamon stick i really i do i really like this i think it's just the perfect combination of the apples and the cinnamon blended together where one doesn't overpower the other and kind of collides um so it really works well together and then i went through almost two bars of our caramel apple craze this was part of like the halloween um uh scent of the month so i want to say this was october scent of the month i want to say it's october it's it has that sweetness of like the maple and then the the apple and it just made the house really smell i like it it made it really smell sweet fall scent and as if like you're you you've just been baking not apple pie but been baking or making um those apples on a stick dip in caramel because you can really smell the caramel, the, the really sweetness of that apple. It's like an overripe apple. So I, I enjoyed that as well. I have been melting banana nut bread. Banana nut bread is a, it's a favorite too. The family loves it. When I melt this, they're like, ooh, what you baking, mom? Banana bread? So you can really smell the, the banana bread um, baking scent in there when you're melting this. Um, another fall favorite. And then I think what got me was um, cider mill. I like cider mill, but I think it's just too, just too strong. Um, I like it. I, I do like it. It's just that it's it's overwhelmingly strong compared to a like um, pumpkin cinnamon roll. So I went through a pumpkin cinnamon roll. This one, some of the um, some of the waxes has um, like it discolors the um the bar <laughs> the shell the clam shell and this one is one of my all-time favorites as well the pumpkin cinnamon swirl it's just it's a light sweet scent and it's nice when you're doing something like this for a day or two and it's overpowering then i go into something that's subtle and sweet um so i enjoyed that one i have been enjoying more of my blueberry pancakes i think i really need to add this into my scentsy club 
because it's just it's a great sweet scent you can you can smell like the 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 maple syrup that you're putting into that um that pancake so it's it's nice i like that one as well okay i think i actually mixed this one with a sugar cookie so i went through uh, a bar of sugar cookie and i think on one of i think i have two box that i have not opened i think one of them is a another uh, scentsy club and i forgot to take out the sugar cookie so i got another brick of a sugar cookie so i really like the sugar cookie it's um it's a very light neutral scent that you can definitely mix with other um other scents uh, especially with like more bakery more fall and then it kind of tones it down and i went through some okay so gingerbread gingerbread donut has been a favorite of mine for like the past two years i think two or three years for some reason this bar i don't know if you guys can see it see how it's been melted so when i take it out it's wet and yucky i didn't like touching it but it's it's very strong for some reason this year i did not love it as much as i have been loving it in the past two years i was like what is wrong with my nose because i have been enjoying this i mean i've got a stockpile of gingerbread donut and i really have been enjoying it um like i said but this year this year was too strong for me don't know why so my my snipper has been changing this um this season okay um along with that is frosted ginger cookie so frosted ginger cookie and my ginger uh, bread donut has been a favorite Again, I felt like this is overwhelmingly strong. I liked it, but it wasn't a love love like before. Um, I think maybe this season I was more, I don't know if I started melting the fall scents too early that towards the end, because I did melt this starting towards the end. Maybe that was why. But nonetheless, I still enjoyed it. Frosted ginger cookie. Ugh. It's a bring back my bar. Speaking of bring back my bar, everybody that voted for bring back my bar, they have um, cast out the votes. I think there was like over 5 million votes. So there was actually some really good ones in there. And I can't wait. I think this time I'm going to buy the whole pack because there was like uh, more than half in there that I really, really wanted to try out. Um, okay. Went through almost another bar of toasted marshmallow. Toasted marshmallow is my go to for the kids um for jonathan my my boy's uh, room he loves the toasted marshmallow he loves anything bakery he loves this and also the happy birthday but you can't go wrong with the toasted marshmallow it's nice it's sweet it's just a good good scent okay also went through a whole bar of wassail wonderland i am like skimping is that the word skimping when you're like hoarding it um with wassail when i melt the wassail i want to make sure i'm in the home <laughs> because this is my all-time favorite favorite scent and then i thought that it's um the grapefruit and grenadine and then the spiced grapefruit uh during um the summer was going to replace this it's not it's still my go-to i love it there's a oh, it's, it's it's that orange it's that orange note to it with i don't even know what the wassail is but it's just it, there's just something to it that really really just attracts me and one of the bring back my bar scent that um is going to be available january is called wassail so i hope that wassail because i've never sniffed it before i hope that is very similar to wassail wonderland okay and then I went through, um, not through, but just some of the pumpkin rolls. I opened up a pumpkin roll. Pumpkin roll is a very nice pop-up. Um, pumpkin roll is a very nice pumpkin scent without all the spices. Just pumpkin. Kind of more like a pumpkin puree when you open up a can of um, pumpkin puree. And right before you're mixing in all the nutmeg and the cloves to make your apple pie. So it's really nice, it's a it's a really nice scent. Okay, I have one in here and I forgot to bring in the other one as well. I have one from Danielle's car, Sweet, Sweet Pea Vanilla. This one is apple butter frosting that was in Jonathan's car, so he's, got, he's done with this. 
Um, I'm not a huge fan of the like the car bars, but the kids love it in their car. Um, Danielle's always saying like, yeah, when my friends get into my car, they're like, oh, your car smells good. So she likes that fruity scent in there. All right, so I went through two, two bars of Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday is the only one I have been melting into my bedroom for the past, I don't know, two months. Um, so every time I'm out, I replace it. And then sometimes the kids, especially the girls, get one into their um for their room as well because everybody has a diffuser in the room and then a um a a warmer into their their bedroom it just makes you feel happy so happy birthday it is in my sensi club it just makes me feel happy i've stockpiled a few of them so when i start running low i'm gonna be like in a panic mode until it comes back uh with a bring back my bar, um, bar that we vote on so that i can stockpile again all right, so moving on, I'm almost actually done. <laughs> moving on, I um, went through a grapefruit and granite, is it grenadine? I like this one. This is actually, I, I think I'm actually gonna melt this all the way until like December or January because it's a nice holiday scent, but refreshing without all the, without all the, um, the spices and the things added to it that makes like that makes your nose burn um that's what i feel like with like the gingerbread donut this year the frosted ginger as well as like the um the cider mill um it was just a nice refreshing refreshing scent and then i have also been enjoying um candied uh cranberry pecan so this one as well you can smell the um the cranberry in there um i love cranberry for the holidays um just refreshing and and clean kind of breezy and then for my last kind of fall like bakery scent i have been enjoying my lemon drop it low ah oh, this is a favorite it's it's like an um the starbucks lemon loaf and it came in a brick form um i want to say this was during the spring and summer so i'm hoping that sensi sensi did not come out with a spring and summer brick collection this year so i'm hoping that they still come out with the um usually it comes around the november time frame of bricks um but they didn't have it in the um, spring and summer so i'm not trying to get my hopes up for the holiday but still okay speaking of holiday collection um since it came out with this one um a few years back so sugar bells and then snickerdoodle and i have been melting that as well uh, like i said i'm, I'm kind of skimpy with it because i don't have a lot of these so i'll you know like i said i'll melt it when i'm home to enjoy it but the uh, sugar bells is something that i really like it's very soft tone um sweet scent and then the snickerdoodle smells like a snickerdoodle cookie okay i love the the holiday collection um right now they have like the fall i think uh three pack and then the the holiday three pack onto the website if you guys want to take a look at that another holiday collection that i have been um, enjoying is this one the woolly slippers woolly slippers is a soft it's like it's like a sugar cookie so there's not a lot of there's no spices to it it's just pure sweetness but not caramel sweetness hard to describe so that one woolly slippers i like that one it's a nice uh, soft scent all right so i was looking for this and it dropped so here is the other toasted marshmallow so i'm almost uh, i have one left but then i went through another bar of that one really like family loves that one okay so we got that one and then also this one i think is the one that that will be back on um bring back my bar in january uh to purchase um people voted in this blue christmas because i saw it in their blue christmas um this also came out in a brick form i think i want to say it came out in a brick form i want to say i have it in the brick form but that's what blue christmas smells like i think i took it out just to smell it but vanilla mint um now that the fall i'm done with the fall like i said i'm starting to come out with the um with the winter so currently right now in my home i am melting um blizzard berry in a brick form I wish that this is one that they brought back into like the regular um like the regular catalog because there was some um in a in a brick form 
that they um, came out into the regular catalog, like the mojito and the pina colada. So for the holiday, I wish they had brought this one back because it is a really, it's a very nice, fruity, refreshing scent. And it's it's a nice scent to get away from all, like I said, the spices, the the fur and the all those um holiday things that sometimes it's just overpowering to your nose it's kind of nice to have a refreshing one that's why i like this one and then the grapefruit grenadine this is melting in my home right now so my home is sweet fruity but yet still feels like the holiday okay got that one and then also i have been enjoying winter uh berry apple tea i think it's a really nice scent i'm surprised this is not into my sensei club so i'm i'm debating on moving some stuff around and then putting some um some new stuff in there like the winter berry apple tea oh i like this as well so this one is more like this this tone it's fruity it's not spicy um so i think it goes really well with um with all the senses okay who okay so these are the ones that i'm i'm gonna have downstairs so that when i replace my warmers with scents i I don't replace every single one of them all at once. You guys know I have um, a lot of warmers in my home. I showed you guys a video of my fall warmers. I will be replacing my fall warmers with my Christmas warmers. Oh, and oh my gosh, I have so much Christmas warmers. Um, it's not even funny. And I have to take them all out. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just hoarding them and I don't wanna feel like I'm hoarding them. I wanna feel like I, they're my, I didn't really decorate for Halloween at all. <laughs> what I decorated with is my Scentsy warmers. And that's the same thing I'm gonna do with um, Christmas. Of course, we're gonna have the Christmas tree and each child has their own specific um, decoration for Christmas, but I'm not gonna go over all out like I used to. My Scentsy is part of my holiday decor, okay? But, Silver Bells is my one of my um, Christmas um, scents go-to um, after like the fall. I start warming up the Christmas scents starting November 1st and I start decorating for Christmas November 1st. I know, I know Thanksgiving is, is I know some people are like, okay, you don't, you're not celebrating Thanksgiving. I combine Thanksgiving with Christmas, I do. Um, and to me, Thanksgiving is every year for me because I'm always thankful for all the people I have in my life. So I don't feel like Thanksgiving is just one day. Um, we celebrate it the year round. So I like to combine my Thanksgiving and my Christmas and only because of sanity, because I cannot go through all those decorations <laughs> just for two weeks and then put them away. We did that one year and I, I got so mad at hubby because hubby's like let's just put it out i'm like no we, it took us like two days to decorate and then a week and a half later we had to bring it down because it was like after christmas okay so silver bells is really nice and then i have this one this was last year's um oil scent so this was a uh, christmas pine peppermint stick and then uh cinnamon bark uh so i've been melting the not melting i've been using the cinnamon bark for my uh diffuser uh diffuser downstairs so i'm gonna try out the peppermint as well with that um like i said these are stuff that i'm bringing down and then like i said the blizzard so that's gonna go down as well along with a very um a very snowy spruce now this very snowy spruce is also in our catalog right now with the um we have some porcelain, um, the new products that came out. It's a porcelain decor in a dish. I think there's like a pine cone in there and then you can dip the um, the very snowy Prus, um oil in there and then it's supposed to last for like 90 days. I haven't ordered that yet. I have been really toning down on my supply because I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like I have so much. Okay. So I have all that and those are stuff that I have been enjoying with Sensei for the past about two months. And then I'm gonna um, come back and show you guys an unboxing because I'm so excited to use it and I haven't opened it because I've been waiting for this video. Life consumes me, friends. My job consumes me. The kids consumes me. Oh my gosh, I'm just all over the place. But I try to find time to stop by and share my love of Sensei with you guys and whatever recipes I make. All right, until next time, mahalo.